Before we get to our shot in the weather center here with meteorologist Jeff Edmondson, our chief meteorologist, take a look at this. NASA is working on a simulator that will train astronauts about life on Mars. For a year, a crew of four will eat, sleep, and exercise in this facility just as if they were in outer space. This simulation habitat is about the size of a four-bedroom house. Hmm. The crew can practice experiments, personal hygiene, and health care. The crew will have limited communication with family and friends. Messages will be on the same time delay as if they were coming from Mars. I can tell Jeff is really excited about looking at that and the possibilities that it holds for uh, our training for our astronauts. Yeah, it's really amazing to see how they're going to do that test because it's basically total isolation for a year Wow. with limited communication and then you're kind of in that cramped uh, quarters. I don't know a lot of people that want to sign up for that, but it's good. It's a good study though, certainly. Yeah, it really is and it's going to take a lot of discipline. One thing about the communication between Earth and Mars, for two weeks out of the year, it's completely shut down. And that happens because of the conjunction or the position of the orbits. Because as we look at the chart here, as we look at the orbits, they do change, obviously, with time the Earth takes. How long does it take to orbit the sun? It takes one year. Mars is longer than that. And at times, Earth's position is opposite, so we have to go through the sun. You can't send a th signal through the sun. It takes about two weeks. It's called solar conjunction. It's a two-week period when we don't have any communication between Earth and Mars. We're just blocked by the sun. So that's one other thing that the astronauts on board or on, uh, on the planet Mars, rather, will have to take into account if they're going to be there at that time because going to Mars takes months, coming back from Mars takes months as long as all of the planets are in the right spot. You can't just go to Mars and then stay there for five minutes and head back home because it'll take more than a year to return back. We